Good morning, everyone. This is Rahul Sharma from uh, Chicago, a Vedic practitioner. Today, I will be releasing my video number 77 on the Krishna Janmashtami. So everyone, happy Janmashtami or Krishna Ashtami, whatever you want to call it. And I am going to narrate the content from the book written by my Gurudev Pandit Shri Ram Sharma, Acharya Matra Bhavati Devi Sharma in Karamkan Bhaskar, page 350. So let's understand what is the significance of the Krishna Janmashtami. Krishna Janmashtami is celebrated as a birth of Lord Krishna in his avatar and Gita Jayanti, which explain his teachings. It can be celebrated either or on both days. This should be a community event for to honor his teachings and renew our inspiration. So we should always make sure that we plan a community, even if we invite friends and family to our house, just like you do for your kid's birthday or you join a, tem a temple or other place. In Krishna's time, people sought uh, for uh, renunciation and the self-realization. And uh, that was the trend at that time. They, people used to think that by renunciation and self, for, for renunciation and self-realization, they have to leave their family and to become hermits, neglecting their social duties. This was weakening the community. The talented people were leaving the family, the jobs, society, work, and the community was affected. Lord Krishna changed this by teaching about owning our responsibility within staying in the family and following the path of the Karma Yoga. So Krishna was the first one who brought the concept of Karma Yoga. And then Gurudev Pandit Sri Ramachari also proved by his life that we should be living in the family and then fulfill all our duties for dharma also as a as a married man as a family man raising the kids and then all the responsibility by fulfilling so this was the main one of the reason we need to celebrate this within staying in the family and uh, understand the teachings and philosophy of the gita the janmashtami is celebrated to renew the values of uh, gita it quite often that if we don't uh, see a thing uh, quite often, we will start forgetting it. And that's why we have the reminder uh, for festival like this, where we can celebrate and discuss again about their teachings through each other's perception and how they are understanding somebody's applying and how they're getting benefited. Now, all the teachings of Gita, even though it was written thousands of years ago, still offer guidance for today's challenges which includes practicing the karma yoga we all become um, anxious about results on things we are doing if somebody is studying hard they don't get selected in isa they don't get selected in iits they just get depressed it's not the way people are working very hard to get their promotion to get uh, things done but with karma yoga it gives you the understanding that our effort is just to keep doing work and do not expect the result. Result will come as the time will come. The second important learning from uh, Gita or Krishna's lifestyle or his birthday is maintaining the steady wisdom. It has been talked as a sthit pragya. Sthit pragya means steady wisdom. In all situations, good situation, bad situation, we should be able to maintain our uh, equilibrium of the, of the mind. Then Krishna is the one who has promoted uh, go vardhan or protecting cows and go palan like farming of the cows as a cattle and promoting the use of all the cow products like milk curd ghee cheese and all the products there so that we can have the purity of the thoughts purity of the mind good health it doesn't have the harmful uh, fat in it and then supporting the community efforts for the major chain like go vardhan the Incident of uh, raising the Govardhan with the help of all the Gopal is nothing but you learn how to leverage the community power for any major changes in the society. Mahatma Gandhi did the same thing when he used the Asayog Andolan or non-cooperation movement. Now, respecting all kind of job, no job is smaller. Like Krishna uh, choose the role of a charioteer for Arjun. Okay, even though he was Lord and uh, he perfectly choose that he need to become charioteer so he can guide uh, Arjun during during the war. Same thing in USA, there's no job is small. Uh, people do cleaning job, but they may be, you know, very good in terms of uh, 
their finances, people do construction job, and no job is considered low in USA also. So we need to continue to follow that path in other countries also. We need to equally respect everyone who is coming and serving our home or even a barber who is you know, cutting your hair. Offering help to others without being asked, like Krishna did for Sudama. Sudama was his friend, Sudama was running a Gurukul, even though he didn't have money to run it, he wanted to ask, but without even ask, Krishna understood that, and that should be the friendship we should have, and that should we should have understanding that if somebody need and we can do the help, we should definitely do the help without getting asked. And then acknowledging the law of karma, as illustrated by in the story of Krishna's death, due to his past action as the Lord Rama. We all know the story that as the Lord Ram, he cheated uh, and killed Bali. And because of that karma, when he came as the avatar of Krishna, he has to pay this price. And then he was killed. Uh, and that was his, his end. So throughout his life, he has given us the lessons and teachings. And that's the whole purpose of celebrating the Janmasmi or, or the there are other few items which people misinterpret it and they take advantage in their for their own benefit like krishna is playing or dancing with gopis okay the whole purpose of that was promoting co-education and equality what krishna has mentioned or even even in usa the co-ed is not bad we need to clean our mind need to have purity of the thoughts that boys and girls to study and play together, fostering the mutual respect and understanding. This promotes culture where individuals see each other as equal, focusing on the character and integrity rather than a gender. In ancient India, this was reflected in the Gurukul system, where the students, regardless of the gender, were taught the same value and knowledge, emphasizing purity of mind and heart in interaction. So that is the whole intention of uh, having with Gopi, but having a clean mind, clean character, and good thoughts about them. The other important uh, event in Janmasmi, an example of in Gita was permitting the revolutionary social norms. So how in the example Gurudev has mentioned here is, like in Mahabharata, this incident for the Draupadis getting married to five Panda, five husband, which is quite uncommon in today's date with the law and other thing. But this was the revolutionary concept. So when the time is needed in the society, we should be ready to break the uh, traditional norms to adopt the specific circumstances. Same thing, the polygamy or uh, polyandry, even though it is not normal when people used to have multiple uh, wives, okay, and by law also it is not permitted. But when the time comes, like in German, uh, when the Second World War happened, it was allowed. So same thing when Krishna shows he has multiple wives, there's a whole purpose that when the time will come, if you need to change, you can change the norm with the leadership thought process. So example was during and after the World War II in places like Germany, where many men died and the concept of having multiple wives or partners was considered by some as a solution to rebuild the population and then support the widows and the orphan. That was the only reason. Okay, so if somebody understands the root cause and they can think as a leader, and they can change the mindset is perfectly okay. That's what in Gita's all those incidents of having multiple wives or multiple uh, gopias with him. Let's talk about that. And that echo the adaptive values of the ancient texts like Gita, which advocates for the greater good over rigid adherence to tradition. That's the most important thing we need to uh, take during our Janmas meeting. Now, how to celebrate Krishna's birthday or, or Gita Jayanti together? Uh, in terms of uh, rituals, it's, it's not necessary, first of all, Gurudev has mentioned very clearly that you will celebrate at midnight. That's a nuisance, that's a disturbance to many people and it's complete disturbance to your own metabolism or your cycle. So, Janmasmi can be celebrated on that particular day at any time, which is convenient for everyone. So, that's one good thing, which I was also clarified by reading this uh, book a uh, few days ago. And then begin sharing the brief message from Gita and how it can be implemented in the today's situation. So circumstances are changing. So based on what you are reading in Gita today and how the situation is, somebody can give a good lecture on that. That would be useful and helpful. And you can invite some of the learned people in your community to talk about that. And then rest of the 
item for a doing daily prayer video number 45 that will give you how you start uh, doing the daily prayer with the purifications and uh, kalava and the tilak and dia and, and bhakti and then finally once we do the normal part of the puja then you will invoke the lord krishna with the mantra given in the book and the invocation of krishna's friend his sakha bal gopal and then invocation of the gita because ultimately you want to learn from the teachings of the gita as one of the uh, main scripture of the hindus and then perform the shodas of char puja I'm explaining Shodas of Char Pujan in video 45 and more details are coming there what the meaning of every single item in the 16 item which we uh, treat all our guests including uh, Lord Krishna. And then offer the Panchamrat. I just released video number 73 a few weeks ago that Panchamrat is something which Krishna has had promoted very well because he really want people to have the cow farming everyone who can afford and who have the place in their country you should have a cow in your home and then use the milk and the curd and the uh, buttermilk and uh, ghee as a major consumption for your body for your health and to protect all the cows there so you can watch the video to understand that and then finally the oath ceremony it's very important that after every such event there should be some action item we should not simply just celebrate eat and go and forget about it and then just simply dance and move forward. The purpose here is to take oath ceremony and follow the principles of Gita. And finally, every puja worship should be concluded by Havan. Havan represents the righteous action. I already have explained in multiple videos, 57, 58, 59. So I hope you're going to follow those videos and going to perform that. This will be the best conclusion of the Janmasmi, which is coming uh, in a few days. That's why I'm releasing this video on the uh, coming Saturday so you can understand and take advantage of that so very simple action item as you already have understood now understood the true meaning of celebrating Janmashtami, Krishnashtami or Gita Jayanti whatever name you want to call it and follow the inspirations of Gita as I briefed in slide 3 but you can also extract something from your own learning in your own current situation how you want to do that but Karamphal is one of the best best thing Karam Yoga then participate in the community functions in your local temple and contribute your time and money. Those who are in Chicago, this will be celebrated on uh, Monday, August 26th. So you can join have your children. That's all as a departing uh, message. You know, be a Vedic practitioner, one of the proven path for success and happiness and getting the heaven. Learn, adopt and practice the secrets of uh, personal success written in 3400 plus books by Gurudev Pandit Shri Ram Sharma Acharya. Stay successful and happy and help others making this world a heaven. And then don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch my next video. And then remember my earlier explanation of the Nav Graha Puja, the nine planetary position and how you can do the fit gap analysis. The true fact is if you want to get all the blessings from all the Navgra, the nine planets which rotate in 12 Rashis, that means you promote Puja and Gayatri Yagna to nine new families and advise them to invite at least 12 new families every single time. That will give you most of the blessing for every Gayatri month chanted by those groups, those family for the rest of the life. You are going to get a portion of that Punya. This, thank you everyone. Talk to you next Saturday.